Well, the red truck is going bye-bye today. The husband of a gal that my wife works with, he is, uh, he's just taking it out for a spin right now. Came and looked at it yesterday. And he even picked up a starter for it. Asked if he could bring that out and put it on. So we're gonna slap that on before he takes it home. This might be the last time you see the red truck. Pretty cool here again in central Iowa. Had more ice last night. It's starting to thaw out. In a couple of days, supposed to be in the 50s. So kind of looking forward to that. I told him about the truck. He knows all about it. He knows it's not in tip top shape, but he's just using it to drive. There's a town, kind of a mid-sized town northwest of here and basically gonna use it just to drive across town and so forth. Should be good for that. I took it out and drove it just a little bit this morning, put a little bit of gas in it for him. Heater's kicking on, truck was about on fumes. He should be getting back shortly. Well, the red truck is now officially not mine. Got the money, signed the title over to him. He's at the courthouse right now getting the title switched over. His wife's gonna bring him back over here later on tonight around seven or eight o'clock and he's gonna take it home. So that closes the chapter on the Fox shop with the red truck. As far as the Bronco goes, just doing an oil change right now. I have the oil draining out of it. Just took the filter off. I'm gonna let it sit there for a while. It was cold when I drained the oil. I didn't run it or anything. Probably should have done that, but I didn't. So gonna let the oil drain out of it and then fill her up with fresh fluid. Also got a new battery for the Bronco. Just a cheap battery, cheap value power. It's a Walmart battery. It's their cheapest of cheap batteries. I think it's the one they have advertised for, I don't know if it's 45 or 49, something like that. I took the battery that was in this, which was actually out of the red truck, put it in here, and now it's going with the red truck. So I ran down and picked this up. I think with no core, came to about 65 bucks. It says right on the battery, they're made by Johnson Controls, which the majority of the batteries out there, I believe, are made by Johnson Controls. At least a lot of them. Maybe it's made with lower end material, I don't know. As long as it starts the Bronco for now, that's all I really care about. I had a couple people here in Iowa, one fairly local north of me, he had a rust-free hood he was willing to donate, and I believe a couple other people had front fenders that they were willing to donate. And I'm more than happy to take those off of your hands if you wanna donate them to the channel. They just need to be totally rust-free inside and out. And then I'd be more than happy to take them off of your hands and put them on the Bronco project. Really need a good radiator support, rust-free radiator support. I kind of doubt I'm gonna find one of those locally. So may just have to do aftermarket on that. But I would like to get started doing that here real soon, tearing the front end of this apart and getting the new radiator support, fenders and hood on. I had a heck of a time getting that thing off. I don't know when the last time the oil was changed in this, but fresh oil never hurts.
oil change is done. And while I was letting the oil drain all out of that, I was back here. The tailgate would not open on this. So I ended up taking all the screws out of this. And if I got in here, I could pull these rods. There's one here, and there's one over here. Pull them towards the center and she opened right up. Looks like everything is connected. I mean, I can pull this and they move. However, this is really bent right here. So just need to uh, take a look at that. Either get new rods or maybe I can bend these back into place. Gonna have to play around with it a bit. Also upon opening this, have a little bit of rust back in here. It's mostly surface rust. Don't think it hurts a whole heck of a lot. Do have a hole right there though. So I may get online, see if you can buy this piece. And if you can, it may be getting replaced. And evidently this hasn't been, uh, hasn't been opened up in a while. I have an old wasp nest here. One there, there was a little one down here. And the back end of this thing is just full of sand and stuff. So I have a little cleaning up to do, a little looking at that tailgate, see if I can get it to work. It's pretty stiff, needs lubricated, but I do believe we can get it to work. So I'm gonna get busy cleaning all this mess up and uh, see what we have. Well, the red truck is just about ready to leave. They're going up the house, my wife's getting them something, and then it's gone. Anyway, I'm down here working on the Bronco tonight. Got this kind of sort of cleaned out. What a mess. And it's the next day. George just came to join me in the shop. And outside today, it's, it's rather rotten. We've had freezing, freezing mist rain most of the morning, supposed to continue all day. And it's rather slick out. Even just walking down here, the rocks on the driveway, they're just all coated with ice. And you better watch your step or uh, you're going to be down on the gravel. And the patio up by the house is just a sheet of ice. Don't think the wind's supposed to blow real bad, so hopefully we won't lose power or anything. I think we could get up to two tenths, maybe a quarter of an inch of ice. Get some 25, 30 mile an hour winds with that. Might lose power. I believe I left off last night talking about this handle and the rods, all that stuff. Haven't really looked at that, probably gonna have to take it all apart, maybe buy some new pieces. I did just get this, uh, this piece off of there. All the heads of these screws were just breaking off, so I ended up having to just pull it Pull it through, pull the screws through, and get this off. Pretty sure it wouldn't be too hard to find some screws with a little bit larger head on them to uh, go over that hole. But I pulled that off and I have just peeked under the carpet. I haven't lifted it all up yet. And there is a little bit of rot over here and over here. But from what I can see under here looks pretty good. So we'll lift this up. And yeah, there's some rot right there. But back in under there, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that carpet up and then I'll, I'll show you. And there you have it. I'm not sure if you can see better like that or if I have a light or maybe it makes absolutely no difference. Kinda hard to tell. Sometimes on the viewfinder it looks a little dark and then when I go to edit the video, it actually looks pretty good. So anyway, there is some rot right there and over here on this side. On back up under there, it's all good and solid. Kinda wish I could get this up, the build sheet or something, you can barely read it. Tried to peel it up a little bit and it's just going to fall apart. So fixing that really isn't gonna be that big of a deal, but I do need to get this, uh, I, I think you call that the rear sill, I think, this that piece down in there. It's not in very good shape over here. I looked online earlier this morning and you can still get those. So probably just gonna put a new one on. Other than that though, in pretty decent shape. 
I was afraid that maybe up under here we'd have some issues, but that actually looks really good. Just, uh, just over here on the sides. So that's a little relief. I thought the floors were solid on this. I still haven't checked the front ones out. I have a suspicion there might be a little bit on the front. I can't remember if it's a passenger or driver's side, but nothing that, uh, nothing you can't fix. They still make the floor panels for these, so you can either get those or you can make your own, whatever. Also, back here, I think what I'm going to do is probably get rid of that carpet and just put a rubber mat down back here. I was talking to James over at Central Oregon Shenanigans yesterday and he was saying that the XL models of these came with a rubber mat in the back. So I assume you can still get those. If not, if not, you could probably have one made or even spray down some kind of a rubber coating or something. But for the stuff that we tend to haul in the back of these things sometimes, I think a rubber floor back here in the back might be the ticket. Anyway, that is not a big deal right now and not something I'm going to really concern myself with. Like I said, the rot back here, that's not a big deal and neither is the carpet. So, so far so good. Something that's a little more important I think is getting, getting the tailgate and the handle so it works properly. Anyway, I'll get that all taken apart, have a look, see what needs to be done and she'll be fixed soon. So we got some fresh oil in her. The interior is cleaning up pretty nice. And then back here, managed to get the tailgate down. Got a look-see in underneath all that. Need to clean all this up back here. Might even pull a top off of it before long. So gonna be getting a radiator support real soon and we're gonna dig into that along with replacing the front fenders and the hood and then we'll start going back and working on the rest of this rig. Speaking of James over at Central Oregon Shenanigans, him and Kyle, they did a live stream last night. Second weekend in a row where they've done a live stream. They're still kind of learning how to do the live stream. I've never done a live stream. I don't know if I will, maybe at some point. But go over and check out Central Oregon Shenanigans. Like I've mentioned before, they're going to be working on a 78 Bronco that they have. I don't have all the details on that. I know they're doing an engine swap and fixing it up. Head over to their channel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have a license plate to send in for the license plate wall, fan mail, banners, fancy laser etched signs, the address where you can send pretty much anything you want to, down in the description. Also, if you would like to pick up a channel sticker or one of these snazzy Fox Shop hoodies, zipper hoodie t-shirts, quite a few people have been picking, well, they've been picking up both stickers and shirts lately. That link is gonna be down in the description as well. So I know we haven't really dug into this Bronco yet, making it look better and all that, and that's what everybody is wanting to see. I'm just going over a lot of this smaller stuff that needs some attention, like the tailgate, and investigating under the carpet here, seeing what I'm gonna have to deal with, which doesn't look like a whole lot. But the fun stuff will be coming soon. Also, when I was digging through the sand in the back of this, managed to find the kick panel that goes up front here, down in there. I kind of wondered where that was, figured I'd have to find one in a salvage yard, and it was, uh, she was buried in the back. So that's gonna do it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.